Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Blender Side Quest. Today we are going to be making this hex shield effect using a planar effector like in Cinema 4D. So for the people who are not aware, Blender users have been using geometry proximity node to make motion graphic stuff for a while now. Which is okay, but we do lose a bit of control with it. But Cinema 4D has already solved this problem long ago. It uses multiple effectors to generate gradients on your scene and it uses those gradients to drive animation. Let's dive into it a little bit. Now let's say you have these objects in your scene, but you want to move some of them 2 meters above ground. So what you do is you add a set position node, plug in a vector node with a z value set to 2 and using an effector we generate a gradient on the object and now we multiply the gradient with the vector value. So where the gradient is black, the object do not move, but where the gradient is grey or where it's white, it multiplies the vector value with the specific factor and moves it accordingly. So now that we understand how it works, let's learn how to do it in Blender. I'm going to make an icosphere and subdivide it to have some more geometry to play with. Let's add a dual mesh node to make it a hexagonal structure. Next I'm going to add a split edges node so the faces move without affecting the neighbors. Now in my scene I'm going to add a plane, set its viewport visibility to wire so you can view your scene better. Bring your plane into the node setup, change the object type to relative and add a vector math node. Use the position node to subtract from and plug the object location into the next value. Now this is a linear or a planar effector we are making so we won't be needing uh, the object scale value but we will be using it in my next video where we'll be discussing the spherical factor. Now I digressed a little bit but what we will be needing is to use the rotation value of the plane effector so as to add more flexibility. Now add a vector rotate node, set it to Euler and check the invert switch. Now plug the rotation into the rotation socket. Next thing you need to do is add a gradient node, set it to linear to generate a linear gradient. Now you can also use a quadratic or easing in case of planar effector to have a different type of interpolation in the gradient but yeah, that's up to you. Now in the end add a clamp node so that we can limit the value between 0 and 1. Now if you control shift left click on the clamp node and the geometry node you will see this gradient. Now you'll notice that the gradient is off axis. What you're going to do is select your plane, go into edit mode, press R, Y and rotate it by 90 degrees. Now add a scale elements node and plug the scale value of 1, multiply it with the gradient and if you move your plane around you see that it works. It also works with the rotation. Now it works but the problem is we do not need this particular effect. What we are looking for is a mirrored gradient on both positive and negative side of the plane. So multiply the gradient by 2 so the value varies between 0 and 2. Now add a ping pong node with the scale set to 1 so the gradient reverses after the uh, cycle to 1. And if you control shift left click on the ping pong node you'll see that now the gradient is mirrored. Now we'll multiply this with the value and there you have it. This works perfectly for the hex shield effect. Now what you can also do is use this gradient to store an attribute on the mesh and you can then use this attribute in the shader editor to you know make vary emission values or color ramps whatever you want and there we have it my friends i hope you liked it if you did please subscribe to the channel and check out my twitter thanks for watching until next time goodbye